Hello everyone, welcome to episode 10 of Deshi Bites. Today we're going to make Tandoori Red Snapper. Tandoori Red Snapper is made with many spices such as black pepper, cayenne powder, coriander, and cumin, and with other spices that I'll be including in the description below. Before we start cooking our dish, let's go talk about where the dish originated. And as always, I'll have the ingredients listed below in the description. Tandoori Red Snapper originated in the Punjab region of both India and Pakistan, and is enjoyed across the Indian subcontinent with many people eating it. There are many variations of the dish as there's tandoori chicken, tandoori pony, and other types. But today we're just going to make the fish variation. After we learned about where this dish originated, let's go, talk, let's go start cooking it. Hello everyone, welcome to episode 10 of Deshi Bites. Today we're going to make tandoori red snapper. So here are our ingredients. We have like a quarter of a lemon, three tablespoons of yogurt, two tablespoons of tandoori mushala. You can get this at your local Indian store. You have some olive oil and eight pieces of cleaned red snapper. First, you want to add your two tablespoons of tandoori mushala to your yogurt mix. And you want to make it into a mixture. I want to mix this thoroughly so everything is incorporated well. And you'll get a vibrant red color. And after that, you're going to add your lemon juice. As you can see, it's fully incorporated. And it's time to add our lemon juice. I'm just going to add everything, all the lemon. It gives a nice tangy flavor and it balances it. All the lemons in. Now you want to just mix that in a little bit more. So your mixture is fully incorporated and you're going to pour it all over your fish. You want to get every little nook and cranny up there. So I'm mixing my tandoori mixture with my red snapper and it's fully incorporated in the fish. As you can see, every nook and cranny is has a tan, has some flavor in it. So you can for so every bite you can get a flavor. So I'm done mar I'm done mixing it and I'm gonna marinate for 20 minutes. Uh, I'll come back in 20 minutes for further instructions. So I have I put all my fish in the air fryer and it's time to cook it for around 15 to 20 minutes. And we'll check halfway through with it. So put it in there and I'll see you back in half half when the fish is halfway done. It's been 10 minutes and our fish is halfway done. So it's time to flip it. I'm just gonna flip it so that it's off. Okay, I'm done flipping everything in my air fryer and it's time to let it cook for another 5 to 10 minutes where it's gonna be fully cooked. And I'm gonna put it in 400 so it cooks a little faster. So I'm gonna let that cook for five to 10 minutes and I'll be back. After five minutes, our fish should be done. So let's go check it. So we can see our fish and let's go do break into it. You see, as you can see, it's tender and you could break through it easily, meaning it's done. So you can see it's very nicely cooked and let's go, and I'll plate this with rice. So this is our final product of red tandoori red snapper and I topped it with some rice and some parsley. So it's time to try, how, try it and see how it tastes. So I'm gonna get a small piece of the fish. As you can see, it's very tender. It's hot, okay, let me just get it. Then add up some rice and then it's time to try it. Like all the flavors, are very in incorporated really well with the tandoori mushala and the yogurt and lemon juice which give it a tangy but balanced flavor and if the spices and everything is all balanced and is really good so thank you for joining us for episode 9 of Deshi Bites and I'll see you in episode 10 thank you